You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Bombarchard! Bombarchard! Hmm? Listen! Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Please, be my guest, Mother. Mm. Ah. Ah. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borschert.
Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess. We find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir. What brings you here? Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Are you right? It's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother! No! Don't! Don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you... if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But... I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't! No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay me. You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. 
It's getting late. Why don't why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure yes. Fine. I definitely have to find mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't and be what real. is happening? That just arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, mother. You find her mom's before she shoots this this broad here. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you. Of course you but did. But we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh, shoot. Okay. <coughs> the occultist is a master of deception. Can see you are convinced of the importance of knowledge. He has acquired... Extensive expertise in science and arts, using others to achieve his own ends, does not bother him. Diplomat. Diplomat shines in society, a talented speaker. He avoids faux, faux pas, and he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predilection. <coughs> and the detective. The detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings, as well as in people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. <laughs> Questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility, logic. <coughs> Manipulation, occultism, erudition, sciences, subterfuges, politics, etiquette, linguistics, Conviction diversion. Let's do let's do the detective. Oh. Okay. Uh dialogue option and actions, use your logical mind talents. Read people's behavior like an open book. Notice noteworthy details for Ali Place. Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the Chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Oh, thank you, thank Please you. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details, select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. To access the skill required for the situation, you just need to have it, to have unlocked it.
I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Hmm. <laughs> the personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Review immunities and vulnerabilities in the journal tab in the menu. Immunity revealed, vulnerability revealed. Push which button to access menu. Emily. <coughs> Immunity logic. Okay. Excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Yikes. Talents. To obtain talents when carrying out certain actions, remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. View all talents in the menu dedicated tab in the talents in the dedicated tab in the menu. Okay. <coughs> All right. Go up to the manor. There's a good evening, oh. sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moraz de Richet. Monsieur de Richet. Delighted to welcome you among us. Sir. Thanks, Mr. Mask Guy. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sarah's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But, sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. <coughs> Access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. Uh, the higher skill level, the lower the cost of this effort. Browse your skills by using the character's tab. And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the part of the okay. wall. What type of damage? <coughs> Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. You what don't do you say. Mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days. 
in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. I... And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now. It is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Hmm. Looks like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. What is this? Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. This might just come in handy. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Hmm. <coughs> so it's found over here. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. A lantern. Nothing special. See what's hidden inside. Ah, one of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I'd recognize your handwriting anywhere, Mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. Godoy, Godoy. Manuel Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? Ah, politics. Yep, I can't remember. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But uh, just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to Must talk be about a it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Well, oh, what's this? <coughs> Hello? Oh, coins. Well, huh. I think this chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Hey, more royal jelly. I don't know that guy's not there to stop me. Let's see what's around here. <coughs> hmm. It's locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. The iron bar. Knew it.
Clearly, I'm not much for manual labor. No, maybe not. Let's see if I can get it open another way. Let's try this again. There we are. Use this jelly like it never happened. Amber fragments, you just found an amber fragment each. Let me pick up four of them, you increase your maximum effort points by one. Okay. Amber. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh-huh. What have we here? Looks like somebody's trying to pry it open. Cannon powder. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Hmm. You know, you see some of my choices are biting me in the butt. It's like a pistol case, oh. but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Well, she did pull a gun Just in like the vision. vision. Yep. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear Mother, and quickly, too. All right, I think that's all we can find down here. Let's go ahead and head up to the manor. I don't think there's real quick do one more lap make sure not forgetting anything anything else let's see what's hidden inside let's look hmm it's too badly written I, I can't make out the address okay the address is 50 Bedford Square London The address he's in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. Hmm, a letter written in an oriental language. I have the slightest idea what it says. <laughs> Probably a Dutchman. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. Who is this Mortimer guy? This envelope is meant for the Vatican. This name sounds familiar. Hush. He's probably like the Pope or something. You go <laughs> no. Can't seem to place it. 
Yeah, eminence must be like the Pope. All right, I think that's it. I think I found all I'm gonna find. Let's go ahead and head up to the, the, the manor. Latin inscription. Broken. And Nessis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus orgatria. Uh. <coughs> Dang it. Oh well. It's already starting to bite me in the butt not being able to read. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Rice, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. <coughs> Confrontations. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story. So don't hesitate to use your skills. Each confrontation displays an interference. Uh, showing how much the person you are talking to is convinced. Thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. <laughs> Three blunders I'd left. I'd rather deal with her directly. Well, Don't she's missing. take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but... Given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her okay. tomorrow. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. I'm sure if you your would. mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. Okay. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Oh, shoot. My mother and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her research. In other words, you can trust me. <laughs> My child, you are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother work for a secret society. It would seem that discretion is not one of your specialities, my son. 
You will understand that it does not encourage me to put my trust in you. Can I go back? Ah, shit. <laughs> All the same. Damn it. It bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look. I knew I should have said help, it's you can secret. leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Ah. Uh, I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? There we go. Only you know that, your eminence. If you're asking me if you can trust me, or if I can keep a secret, I would answer yes, absolutely. I understand. In truth, it all depends on the nature of the contents of your letter. It is a list of names. This list must be of extreme importance. Ah, if only you knew. It's a list of people that your mother must help. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Confrontation last step. For the last step of confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. Give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you give a right one or you have no blunders left. The last step of confrontation will repeat itself if you fail. Okay. I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Riche. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here. The letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Hidden elements. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventures, so do not hesitate to look for them. Okay. Devil's Thorn. Devil's Thorn grants you the exalted state. Temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice in a conversation you cannot carry more than five. Devil's <laughs> Thorn. Cool. Collector coins. I've just arrived. It might be bad manners to go upstairs without being invited. Lives of the noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. I just did that in front of everybody. I just straight stole his book. Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. Find your manuscripts by using the inventory tab in the menu. Okay. <coughs> Oh, 
found out many not everything is a gift. I thought ah, my dang. chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the United States. Holy crap! Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Uh, my mother. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? <coughs> uh... Invent something. Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two I'm not gonna tell of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say she's disappeared Seriously, in front of the... Though, oh, I know your God. mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. My mom knows the President of the United States. Good Lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. Oh. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friend. He says, shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here, and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. Yeah, he's just wearing that so thing out. don't be like, surprised yeah, if it acts like show so off Holm. its badge, bro. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother 
But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home that I saw him in my vision. Oh, oh, oh. Well, <laughs> you know, I gotta stay with the U.S. You know. <laughs> Let's see what Washington has to say, sir. I'm sure, I'll if see. you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. I'm sure I'll have time to talk to Mr. Holm later. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. Good thing you I stayed. Well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy and is advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But I want this to be clear without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Where did you first meet? Yeah, where did you first meet? How do you know my mom? Sarah you guys, you guys, the war you, guys of you know, making me American some little bros. <laughs> she was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, <laughs> and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. Well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. Of course, of course. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. <coughs> that's Thank a you, good sir. saying. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, <coughs> thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't I be hope disappointed. Not. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve. Oh. And to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Let's keep looking. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened Ah, I'm sure something yes, has. I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. What the hell is that? Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. 
Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. I bet he does. So, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons hmm. as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Washington looks surprised, but Holmes doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. Oh, I'm taken by his fact this dude's the got paint on his face like bro chills. That blush, man. That powder. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, thank you. You're not going to show me my room? Well, it's kind of rude. Friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. I mean, you could come by if you want. I mean, See you tomorrow. You know, I, I, I'm not gonna oh, complain. Man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Our room. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon Bonaparte. Jacques Peru. What's for Zach Prashak Peru? A lot of uh, outstanding people here. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Golden elixir. Golden elixir cures all your negative alterations. You cannot carry more than five. Forum guide. Nice painting. Yeah, I couldn't say any of that. A Byzant from the Byzantine Empire. A coin often used during the St. Louis era. St. Louis, Louis. Whoa, whoa. Just checking for anything I can use. Anything, anything. Oh. Some more coins. Who's this? President George Washington. El Presidente George Washington. Royal 
jelly. Monsignor, his eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Cardinal. Huh, that's me. Okay, found mine. Right. Found my room. I wonder, is this the lady? Duke Manuel Godoy. That's the guy. Uh. It's the dude from the letter. This is where we came up. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. So that must mean I can't. Okay. I think I found everything I can. <coughs> Let's go ahead and head to my room. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? Damn. Can't wait to open it, but I gave my word to Piaggi, so... Too bad. I'll wait until I hand it to Mother. Wow. Nice room. <laughs> Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. What the heck? Dad figured... Stay loyal. You know... He said it was list names. Let's trust him. Seems trustworthy. I mean, he's a freaking priest, so. Uh, Carmelite water gives you the focus state. <laughs> Next skill use will cost no effort. You cannot carry more than five. Carmelite <coughs> water okay. will give me a little reprieve. That'll be definitely coming handy. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again. Art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented herself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. Holy shit, dude. Saint Francis of Assisi in ecstasy, before superior voices. The conversion of Saint Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. Yeah, that's what I saw. I wouldn't like to be his son. What we got over here? Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very jolly. Kind of wanted to go outside, but you know, we'll do this instead. <laughs> okay, off the coast of England, news about my mother on the dock. I didn't pick up the book on the co what I picked up a book as I could have joined Sir Holm, a small salon, I could have made an unexpected. I made an unexpected encounter. Just I went up to the manor, I found clues about the docks. See what? Oh, all the clues. I guess I did miss some. Damn it. Uh, well, yeah, it's because I couldn't read the foreign language and stuff. But I convinced <coughs> Biagi to trust me with his letter. I met Mr. Washington. I remained in the grand hall to speak with Mr. Washington. I asked questions about my mother. Ooh. 
Hey. Make this complete. Traits a lot of characters. Characters men, vulnerabilities exploited. Okay. Got four points. Skill not required. Okay. Well, let's... Hmm. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Rules for the misbehavior one, skill point adequate, one point conviction, psychology. Mm. Uh, a series of biologies illustrated men providing much information on their lives. Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durache's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't worry, our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come, take a seat, my friend. Nighttime stroll, Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Like living in people's eyes, like I could see through their face, like their eyes. You know, you know what I mean. Like I got like telep telepathically link. Them. I'm coming. <laughs> Damn it, George.
I was trying to do something. Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. <coughs> By the way, enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer. Okay. Inspiration of St. Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated to him by voices. Dear Monsieur de Riche. I'm coming. The incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas the Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. The torture of Ixion. Condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Pound. I'm coming. What you need, Georgie? Excuse me. Am I bothering you? No. No, not in the least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Okay. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Elizabeth Adams. Home introduced her to us. Yes. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. Oh, shoot. But she is supposed to be dead. <coughs> what? Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens. I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, <laughs> but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Like I said, <coughs> I'm a red-blooded American. Gotta help old Georgie. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. Hoping this pays off. She must not return to her room. Trust me. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. <laughs> Louis, oh, shoot, you're sorry. From your objective. Oh, this way. My fault, my fault, my fault. Hello? Thank you. going on your eminence ah, my son oh you are a godsend what's the matter your eminence I believe a miss Adams may be in danger what do you mean do you hear that she is being manhandled in this small salon by whom I don't know exactly uh, a thug a Frenchman it seems by the cap of his cloth I'd say he's a member of the French revolutionary government you What's do his face? My son. What's it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, freaking shit. <coughs> What's his name? I'm supposed uh, to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry Hold about. Hold apart, Napoleon. Do you want uh -huh. me to call for help? No, it's okay. Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Just leave it to don't me. Don't wake up the whole manor, please. Oh, thank you, my son. May God watch over you. Yeah, you might need to. Who do you think you are? Forget multiple paths. <coughs> there are multiple paths to reach your objective. Maybe a good idea to think twice before embarking on the first path you come to. Me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Oh, that's not Napoleon. Please, just let me go back to my room. 
<laughs> hey, you! Stay out of it! This is none of your business! I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. Whoa! What the hell's going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am. Stop. I beg you. I, I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit. Uh, if I step in, Adams might just run back uh, to the room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's uh, gonna suffer. Damn it. What should I do? Uh, Sheesh. You filthy whore. I apologize. Have mercy. Please have mercy. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> I apologize. No, no, no. Mercy, have mercy. No, no, no. Where's that smart mouth now? I'll teach you a little respect. No. Huh? No. <laughs> My mother told me often enough. No. Sometimes huh? the end does justify the means. I'd hoped I wouldn't have to apply that rule, but at least no. Washington will have enough no. time. Oh man, Georgie, you best better be worth it. <coughs> uh, when the time limit is over, an answer is automatically selected. Check the dialogue timer at the bottom of the screen. Uh, given the mess, talking's not going to help anything. I hope it was worth it, George. Jacques Peru. Okay, I'll remember you, buddy. Was it worth it? Well, did you get time to search the room? Yes, I found out many things. Good. Did Elizabeth give you any trouble? Elizabeth? No. Well, you could have mentioned she was with a raving maniac, huh? What do you mean? She was with a Frenchman. He was about to beat her when I arrived. What the devil are you talking about? I thought he was going to kill the poor girl. Did you intervene? <clears throat> I did what was necessary to give you enough time to search her room. Good work, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that I could count on you. Either way. So tell me, did you find any information? What did you find out? Was oh, it worth it? Yes. Me watching this woman get beat. What I the... found is likely to upset you. What do you mean by that? Elizabeth is indeed the daughter of John Adams. Why pass her off as dead? I found her medical file. It appears that for many years, your mother was her personal doctor. From what I read, she behaved more like a butcher than a doctor. What are you talking about? I'm not a child. What's going on here? John believed that his daughter was possessed. He appealed to your mother to save her, but the treatment she inflicted on the poor child... My God. Look, stop beating around the bush. What exactly did she do to her? Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? Honestly, yes, at this point. My mother got her hands dirty for the common good, so don't be too quick to judge her. For the common good? We're talking about the vivisection of a child, of tattooing her from head to foot with a red hot stop, iron. Stop this. For her fifth birthday, she inflicted the stigmata of Christ on her. And for her 10th birthday, a hysterectomy. What kind of gift is that My for a child? My mother's not a monster. I do not doubt that your mother meant well, but the techniques described in the file, it, it is pure torture. Uh, please, I need some time alone. I have seen some horrors in my time, but if what is written in these damn documents is true, be brave, my boy. I mean, she did. She's very dedicated in her work, from what I can tell. I mean, obviously, I just met these people because I just started playing this game, but you know. <coughs> Either way, she seems very determined. Golden elixir. Like a very determined woman. <laughs> Chinese coin, nice. Sorry, <clears throat> Elizabeth.
Your eminence, what are you doing here? I was worried about you, my son. Uh, how did it go with Miss Adams? The end justifies the means. It could have been worse. Let's say that Miss Adams will remember it for a couple of days. What? Did you not intervene? Of course not. What did you want me to do? That thug could have snapped me in half in two seconds. So, you prefer to let that fragile young lady take a beating rather than risk getting slapped around a bit yourself? <coughs> That's not... Mr. Derice, your mother would not have been proud of you. Listen, I feel... next time it happens, join me instead of hiding behind the door. If you're going to talk big, back it up. You should be ashamed. Listen, I, will pray I am, soul, okay? Son. But I don't. I think my mom would be more proud of me for not doing. Oh, now you want me to do something else for you? you? About something important. Do you still have my letter on you, the one I gave you in the home? Yes. Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, uh, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you, Luis. Yeah. Uh, give me one second, please. I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment yes, you I see I will, her. okay? You can count on it. Have a good night. <coughs> Freaking old dude, don't judge me, okay? It needed to happen. Louis, you're straying from your objective. But is this not the way to my room? Oh, this is my room. Whew. I'm exhausted. I better go to bed. I'll search my room tomorrow. If mother stayed here right before me, you never know. And Mortimer had better show up. Oh, what a night. Mm. Yeah. Oh, All right, little stretch. In my vision yesterday, I saw that Mother had this room before me. I better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind. This writing material. From what I see, no ink's ever been used on this quill. Hmm. The smell reminds me of something. It smells like lemon. That's odd. That is odd. Was she using lemon scented ink? I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. Dear Monsieur de Richer, 
Yeah, Mr. Salmonella. The torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Hey, need to get my uh, my lockpick skill up. Just pictures. There's a circle around the lock here. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. I use the key, obviously. <laughs> oh, got some stuff. Nice. There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richer to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. All right, I've retrieved everything. Hmm, nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice, strong coffee, though. Look, markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Oh, this bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. Hmm. Could be a clue. A voyage around the world. The travel log of the explorer, Louis Antoine de Bougainville. What a mother. Yeah, sure. Books. Whatever whoever that is. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, mother? Found it. A faint sign of the order. Barely visible. Mother, you undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Why not? The paper's rougher around the writing. The paper's moist here. A very light stain, barely visible. And the smell reminds me of something. Come on, Louis, think. Think. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must have left something behind. She applied a liquid to the book. She must have used the writing materials. The quill has been used, but not with regular ink. A message using invisible ink. I bet you use a limit to leave a message. Hmm. Now, that's smart. How do I reveal the message? That is the question. Is there anything out here? A priest's robe, crosses. Must be Piaggi's room. Lemons. Take a lemon. This room looks unoccupied. A ruble. Secret writing. Many people use this method for their secret correspondences. Light the flame and the ink appears. Hmm. I'll take that. Light the flame and the ink appears, huh? What's this? Ash? I'll take some. Might be might come in handy later. Alright. Aha! It's 
working. There he we go. Reveals the message. Let's see what my mother wrote. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, it could be anywhere. After that, she adds, beware hero. The beast always charges the best protected soldier. And that's its weakness. What is my mother trying to tell me? If you've gone to so much trouble, you must not have only found something important, but you must have also felt like you were in great danger. Now I better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Sir, dinner is served in the Red Salon. Of course it is. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. All right. <laughs> Guess we'll go have dinner in the middle of the day. The Red Salon. If I get a chance, I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. Okay. Well, let's do that right quick then. Running back and forth in case somebody drops something. You never know what you might. Duke Manuel Godoy. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. It might be better to take a different stairway. That must be the door to the room of Sir Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, dang it. Thought I'd be able to sneak in there. Oh, look at that, see? Half circle shaped key. Go upstairs, okay. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. There's the other stairwell, but let's see if there's anybody's room that we can go in without having to pick the lock. Nah. Nice. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. And it's unlocked. For God's sakes, what happened in here? Jesus. You know, when George said he was going to search the place, I didn't think he was going to toss it. <laughs> What's this? Chest with a half circle. Pattern. Oh, and guess what? I have a half circle key. What do you know? Oh, some stuff and a piece of paper. An untutored hand copied these notes. Looks like a. method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. Oh, well, I'll take him anyway.
Hmm. I think I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. Consume? No, I don't think I'm gonna consume anything in this room. Third of November, seventeen ninety-one. My dear sister. The cancellation of our reunion hit me like a stab to the heart. Father told me it was for your well-being, but I can't help but blame him. He claims that your condition has worsened and that it could be dangerous for both of us if we met. If only I knew where you were, believe me, I'd be at your side. I haven't received any news from you in a long time. Please write. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. I hope you like the enclosed talisman. The enclosed talisman. Five circle shaped key. June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold as if emotions no longer matter to you. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you, but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again, at long last, right soon. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. <laughs> Don't forget to tell me what present you want. So her sister. August 24th, <coughs> 1792. Elizabeth, I'm driven to despair and doubt there is any point in writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll receive my letters. Father controls my correspondence more and more. I am certain he filters our exchanges. Thankfully, one of the chambermaids is able to help me get my letters to you. But. They still remain unanswered. I often think about you and pray every day to be able to hold you tight. We have so much time to make up. I beg you, answer me, please. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. That horrible woman came again yesterday. She spent a long time speaking with father. I didn't understand everything because they spoke in French, but I'm sure they were talking about you. I wonder if that horrible woman was my mom. Seems like my mom had a lot of secrets. A novel of the initiation of a young woman into a polite society. She's immune, she's immune to psychology. Psychology, yeah, she's immune to psychology because she's already freaking crazy, bro. Look at all this writing on the wall. Like, what, what's happening here? It's another note. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better, and unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you will be able to put all of this behind you one day. Well, I don't think she's going to be putting anything behind her. Seems like you guys messed her up pretty good. What's that? What's that? Crystal stuff. I'm already regretting some of my choices. That's just that paper again. So I can't like study or pick lot, you know. I found a five circle key. I wonder what that could open. I think maybe that opened Napoleon's room.
possible. <laughs> Worth a shot real quick. We got time. They're trying to eat dinner in the middle of the day. Weirdos. I guess not. <coughs> Dang. That's alright. That key could be that box in my room. Oh, jeez. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet? I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault, too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look, the only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. Hey? I'm not worried about Jack Peru. I'm... I'm sorry. I should have stopped him from beating you. What's done is done. It was my fault, not yours. Don't say that. It's never the victim's fault. Look at your eye. My eye's nothing. Okay. Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. Okay. What are you doing here? Looking for her. My mother came here to do business with Lord Mortimer, but she seems to have gone missing. So I'm here to find her. I know your mother very well. Really? Yes. I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you? Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No. I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh. She's getting more and more agitated. Hmm. And next you're going to tell me my mother's also responsible for that scar on your head? My heart stopped twice during the operation. Twice. I lost my memory for six months. You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait, there must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, I've... I've got to go. Wait, I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? You're right. I I don't want this conversation to turn into an into interrogation. You've suffered enough already. I I respect your silence. Please excuse me. Well, thank you. I know your little game. You're no different Whoa, from the lady. rest of them. You <laughs> can't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. That's Don't say not that. Not true. Not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares about me. I would have put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for trusting me. Heck yeah. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, my mother. 
Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life hey, was hey, hey, for easy, nothing. Easy. So hey, 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 easy, easy. Point that finger somewhere else. My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's coming for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. Don't worry, girl. I'll keep you safe. But it's time for dinner. painting what's up man what can I do for you sir I am at your service day and night sir as I was unable to bring my personal effects with me I was wondering if you could find me a few items of course sir what would you require hmm What's that book you're hiding in your jacket? The Sorrows of Young Werther by Goethe, sir. And I am not hiding it. Hand it to me, please. It is damaged, sir. I don't sir. care. I would book, never bro. dare lend, sir, a book in such a pitiful state, sir. I took it to restore. Hang on, but it's mine. Beg pardon, sir? It's my book. I'm telling you, it's my book. With all due respect, sir, I hope sir will understand that I have doubts. You see, I found it in Lord Mortimer's library. Huh. There you are, then. That's exactly where I left it. I am quite put out, sir. I don't know what to say. In that case, I suggest you say nothing and hand it over. I feel but kind of shitty doing I this to this guy because he's just but trying sir, to do I, his job. But... Very well, sir. Here you I are. I want this book, May, sir, bro. take good care of it. It is damaged. And you've damaged it as well? Well, bravo. You don't have to be a dick bravo. about it, Bluey. No, Come on no, now. I didn't do anything. It wasn't me, sir. Say pardon. Pardon me, sir. Very good. There were some other things I wanted to go over with you. Jesus. That's it. Got enough for that other stuff. You don't have any royal jelly, so that's kind of what I actually need. That's the painting. All right, dinner time. <laughs> it looks so out of place here. <laughs> Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. 
Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining Again? us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Where did you find it? Huh. Peru looks totally out of place here. I'm not sure if I understand. He's counting the ten sets of cutlery around each plate? The man is completely lost. Thank you again for the wine, your eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted to hear it. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. Cultism skill required, well. okay. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. Yes. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, mm -hmm. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. <laughs> Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> Goodness, that was the most... Uptight laugh. All tech skill so, required. Sir Gregory. Such yeah, I can't really look into these skills. A sultan, isn't it? Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I've taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule, but I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas Were you an orphan there? Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. Nice to know you're a man of your word there. Uh, uh, uh what, whatever your face was. Holt, so home, rude. home, home. Just That's his name, home. Orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. <laughs> is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. Hmm. Let's get My to know Lord, him ourselves. I only know the prestige of your name. Might I have the honor of getting to know you a little better? You are Monsieur Louis Moras de Richet. De Richet. De Richet. A name with a nobiliary particle. Are you descended from a noble line? The presence of a particle does not necessarily mean a person belongs to the nobility. Nor That's my last uh, observance royal jelly. Of the rules of etiquette, Monsieur Von Bonner. Have you any information on this Napoleon? <laughs> He's certainly well connected in in high places. Surprising. No one appears to know him. No one knows me, and yet here I am. Quite so. <laughs> Certainly not. Monsieur de Richet? <laughs> it would seem we have common <laughs> interests. Could we speak in private, please? Yes, I heard the news. Common interest, eh? Yes, I Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order. Who your mother have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. 
An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Okay. Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 Louis d'or for 200 cannon. Hmm. No. Surely such an amount will buy twice as many cannons. Don't try to pull a fast one on me. We're both young, but we are not naive. Please don't be offended. I just gotcha. wanted to make sure you knew what you were talking about. And I am reassured. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Okay. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? Hmm. <laughs> Screw it, go for it. I think what France is lacking today is a truly strong leader ready to govern her. Someone who will restore her luster, who will propel her forward so once again she becomes a proud nation respected by all. A man capable of both rebuilding the country from the inside and, at the same time, developing exterior relations. Someone with a vision, I think. The right person still remains to be found. You're right, my friend. I hear your words. Right, I need to find some royal jelly Monsieur urgently. I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I would like to thank you for your support by offering you this humble little gift. Thank you. Hmm. Reflections on the revolution in France. Mr. Bonaparte, I thank you for this gesture and please know that I too am delighted to have met you. My friends, I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. I trust yeah, yeah. you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Washington is a very gifted speaker. Leave him for five minutes with sworn enemies and he'll convince them to be friends for life. Right, we shall meet again He's tomorrow. He's immune to politics. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. Well, I need to find me some royal jelly, so... So, wines and cannons. Yeah, but I didn't have the lockpick thing. Ooh, give me them levels, bro.
recap before dinner oh hey good i don't need jelly i got my filled message. up we've got to find the place where all eyes size you up all eyes size you up etiquette psychology Is that a coin? Heck yeah. All right. Search this place. Run off! No, I'm just kidding. Ah. What a view. Yo, what's up, Eminence? You still have any room left? Ah, uh, my son, this scene of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your Eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I'm sure he is. I should think you are beginning to worry. Well, I, I must admit, Your Eminence, indeed it does worry me. I understand, but continue to have faith in Sarah. You'll see, I'm sure, that in a few days we'll all be laughing together. We'll see. That's all I hope for, Your Eminence. But while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Well, go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? If I said to you, where all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis. But it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library. Continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. Well, you'll thank see you. It, Louis. When you get there, you'll know. Awesome. Th thank you very much, Your Eminence. Thank you. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. Catch you on the flip, M. Before I go that way, though, I want to...
Discourse on the Method by Descartes. Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. I want to see right quick if this the only person sizing me up here is that monumental Zeus. It can't be here. Ugh. I was trying to see if this would open up that little box. I should have grabbed it and went there afterwards. Dang it. Oh. Good, some jelly. There's a pattern with five circles on this tree. Hey! Guess what I have? Jesus. Alright. I've retrieved everything. Hey, these look like pages taken from an ancient encyclopedia. To see if there's anything else. What? Can't go that way? Okay. Back around. I wonder what was in that chest then. I could, I mean, if I could go up there again. I could probably open it now. I got the lockpick skill. But doesn't seem like that's going to be an option for me. All right. Set through this door. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Retrieved everything. Yes, we did. Holy crap. Exactly what I needed. Amber crystals. That might be what's in the other one. It's more amber stuff. The uh, give me more points to use. Jesus, this library is massive. Atrus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Wonder why she did that. A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. This is Thursday. This library is massive. Jeez, man, what the heck does this dude do read all these books? Yeah. Yep, there's a lot of eyes here. Where all eyes size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should she go and try to find the creature now? Allegory regarding the decoration of the rights of men. That's the least you could say. Liberty or death. 
by Van Yo. Well, I'll take liberty, please. But well, I do understand his choice, even though it seems radical. Must to sit down. Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. The song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his <coughs> ring is eaten by either ear. With a fragment of amber. A fragment of amber. Heck yeah. <coughs> oh, goodness. Hmm. Yeah, I saw the Medusa. But I want to search. First, hmm. All right, let's go see what happens. The devil's thorn. I'll keep it. Nothing else in here? Let's do it. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword. Oh! Hmm. Can't be showing that. A hero with a lantern. <laughs> and the last one holding a shield. Okay. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Hmm. A painting with no name. That must be Lord Mortimer. The clue I found said, Beware hero. The beast always charges the best protected. That is its weakness. Okay. That's the key. The best protected hero is the one holding the shield. Thank you, mother. this the origin of myths a reinterpretation of legendary creatures just what i need the text is in french on the left hand page and in latin on the right hand let's find the chapter on the medusa hang on this version is significantly different from the regular one it recounts how men have always belittled women in society 
Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with a sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Okay. So she's charging the guy with the shield. He's behind the dude with the shield. Homie here is attacking Medusa. If I respect the legend, I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa. Except for here, it doesn't work. There must be something else. The night light was reflected in the shield and blinded the monster. So the hero with the sword seized the opportunity and cut off its head. Okay. So. Homie here reflects it off the shield. I respect the legend, I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa. Except for here, it doesn't work. There must be something else. Hmm, the mechanism is worn here. Whenever the shield is not turned toward the sword, the machinery freezes up. The statue must have been in this position most of the time betrayed by the marks of time so that makes it easy the shield must face the sword okay. if I respect the legend I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa hey um What's about to happen? Oh! Okay! Just hold on. Well. Jesus! Ah, for Pete's sake, Emily! You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Oh yeah? So tell me what you're doing here. I'm just... I mean, I... Yeah, just like me. Probably, but I asked the question first. So? Oh. Well then, we'll pretend you haven't asked me yet. What about a little gallantry, Louie? Come on, I'm listening. What are you doing here? Since you insist, Duchess, gallantry obliges this. Ladies first. You just won't give in, will you? Nope. I'm sorry, madam. It isn't in my nature. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Well, that's good. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Of oh, interest yeah. to who? In your dreams. At your service, madam. Golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrible thing. <laughs> That's a pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And your flattery brings out your boorishness. <laughs> An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. Mm. 
G, is there anything England doesn't have yet? Wait, yes, there is. The United States. Ah. Well, not yet. <laughs> Besides, as far as I know, they don't speak French in the United States. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. I can just see Mortimer dressed in a toga, wearing a laurel wreath, strutting around his manor all day long. You have a curious idea of Mortimer. Why? He's eccentric, like all the English are, isn't he? True. Well, if Peru stands for French grace, then if I were you, I wouldn't be making that sort of remark. You say so. Oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. Amber crystals. Here's something interesting. That's not what I wanted to do. A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old. And all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? See those fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. Hmm. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. Maybe Mortimer is immortal or capable of living for a very long time like Methuselah. A first smile. Careful. <laughs> Keep that up and soon you'll end up laughing. Dang, got her. Carry on sprouting inanities like that, and indeed I might. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? Yes, how do you I know? No, I just suppose she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. I don't Maybe. know. She was obsessed with Mortimer and... I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I I mean, don't what's know. she gonna do? Steal them? We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? How did Lord Mortimer get all this? It's just crazy. Secret connections, money, or a well-kept family treasure passed on from generation to generation. Who knows? That would mean some of Mortimer's ancestors lived before Jesus was born. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Maybe she or didn't want to get me wrapped she up. she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. The hell is this? What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the oh hell shit, here we go. Trust in you, Louis. When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want? Yes. What are you talking why about? Why not? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. 
Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily. I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you Jesus, here we go. Just like everyone, you have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha. Huh. And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Pragmatic, intelligent, sure of herself. Her only weak spot is her difficulty talking about herself. I don't know much about your past, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own for much of your life. It might have closed you off, and that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, you may be right. I might there we go, there we go. Come on, baby. Two more. Two more. I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? I suppose. I know you well enough to see that you're hiding. Something from me. Why won't you look me in the eyes? I've figured you out, but you refuse to accept it. And you're starting to find me charming too. I admit it. You win. You Damn it. worst investigator there ever was have sussed me out. Alright, we got three though. Mm. Well, at least you made me smile. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I should I use this. Your abilities will be of use to me, but I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Ooh, that's a big one. Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. <laughs> yeah, maybe I just guessed. When it comes to getting results, I should have said it a female, I grant you that. Whatever. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh. oh. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Hmm. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Well, Instead, that's not good. Instead, passed me a message from home, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Right, I won't tell anybody. Or you will pay very dearly. Okay, Don't okay. Worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. I wanted to open that box. I guess maybe. I don't know. Damn it, I should open that box first. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here.
Jesus. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Okay, what? Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please don't leave me alone. Okay. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Oh, my room, hey? I wonder what you gonna be doing in there, huh? I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too okay, late. Okay, okay. like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure, Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Jeez. I'm sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. Not again. All right, Elizabeth. I left her the first How time. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. I left her the first time. I can't do it again. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. What? Did Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My okay, days okay. are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognize my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you it was her. Okay. Chill. She doesn't hesitate on her answers. She's not trembling. She's really convinced of what she's seen. Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I I didn't make any noise, and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've like, seen her? You tatted her up. Mortimer? You don't understand. <laughs> it's her. She's I didn't even here. know they did yes, tattoos like that back then. No, you're that's not pretty, listening. That's pretty elaborate. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. Okay. She's here. I'm telling you, Okay, it was her. okay. Jesus Christ. Yes. I need something to calm me down. Yes, I don't, though. No thanks. I, I'd better not. Listen, if you want me to tell you everything, you have to drink with me, Louie. Hey, whoa. What I have to say to you is of the utmost importance. No. No, I won't drink. All right, Louie. Then get the hell out of here. You're incapable of opening your eyes, so be it. You're not going to get out! drugged. I'm gonna let you drug me. The hell? I saw your little crystals. Make trying to get me to drink. I'm out. Deuces. Why the hell did I go with Elizabeth? I could have spent the night with Emily, but no. I had to go play the night with a big heart. True. Oh, well, never mind. Tomorrow's another day. Yes, it is. Jesus. <laughs> I swear to God. This is you, Elizabeth. Oh my God. Monsieur de Richet, I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. Excuse me? What is going on? You are in deep trouble, my young friend. Holy shit. That took a huge twist. I should have went with Emily. <laughs> I wouldn't have been accused of murder and I would have got laid. Damn. Oh well. Oh, next. Let me get them level ups. Thanks.
Let's see here. How many we got? Four. 